another news item dropped a little bit earlier today that's going to have a lot of video game fans very excited. You know, whenever the topic of video game movies come up, one of the names that comes up a lot is Borderlands. When is they going to do a Borderlands thing? Well, according to a report coming out right now, Lionsgate has picked up and is going to be developing a Borderlands movie, apparently with the producing team of uh, Avi and Ari Arad. We're going to be doing this together. Now, I have never myself played the Borderlands game. You have. Yep. Another person on staff here, Wendy has. Wendy, let's let's get you to come up here quick because I know Wendy's yeah. played all the Borderlands games. So, Schnapp, why don't we just kick it off with you. Talk a little bit about uh, the Borderlands game itself and if you think it's going to lend itself well to being a uh, being a film. I think it will lend itself great to being a film. I mean... It's sort of like Mad Max Fury Road before we got Mad Max Fury Road. That's how Borderlands was to me. It was like you're in this post-apocalyptic world. You got a bunch of nutty, crazy creatures. Uh, it's it's a threat-based game. You have to go out into the wilderness and fight these kinds of bonker guys. They're really hard to kill, and the little midget <laughs> ones are even harder to kill. They are hard. So yeah, they're harder. You yeah. think it's ah, it's That's a little like tiny real guy. Real life, the little midget ones. Yeah, the midgets are way stronger than normal. Um, so yeah, I, I, it's a very fun game. I was talking to Wendy. He's like, "What's that little robot called again?" The and clap it's trap. clap trap. So why it's don't like you talk smart, about the clap trap? Is like a smart Alec R two D two. Yeah, which which was the best part about the first game, and then for the second one, they kind of made. I just only played not, the first oh, really? game, so yeah. I'm actually stuck right now on the pre sequel. I I because I'm working here. John chains me to my desk, and I can't do anything <laughs> else. I can't you get about ten games. minutes a day. Why are you complaining? <laughs> like, Let me ask you guys this: Why is this fit for a cinematic retelling? Like, is it because Mad Max was so popular that they want to take a game that feels a lot like that post-apocalyptic Sandy world? I I think so for sure. I think because Mad Max Fury Road was so popular, like what other video games are like that? And that character right there is on everybody's yeah. cosplay list. I saw like at least six of those at San Diego Comic-Con. I've seen every Comic-Con this year, I've seen somebody dressed as that character. So yeah. it's a, it's a, got a really great visual look to it. It's different from Mad Max, but it's still a post-apocalyptic world. And it's also different from uh, Fallout. So mm -hmm. I, th I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to do really well as a movie. Yeah, I think especially following the success of Mad Max. I remember when I was watching Mad Max, and I leaned over to my husband. And I was like, honey, I want to play Borderlands when we got home. <laughs> exactly, and, and we did. Yeah. It's the same setting. And I don't feel like they necessarily even have to keep the four vault hunters. Like, mm -hmm. like they, they can have their own storyline, just setting it on Pandora with the vault hunters. Because I think if you follow it too closely to the game, it's going to come out a little cheesy, to be honest with you. It, it's, it, but I think if they take the core storyline and then develop that and make their own characters and keep Handsome Jack because he's the best villain ever. Because he, John said once, that the worst villains are the ones who think they're doing right and they don't think they're doing anything, they don't understand that they're doing something bad. Um, and they truly believe what they're doing is actually for the good. And Handsome Jack is just one of the best video game villains I have. Because I hated him. I remember playing the game, something happened. He, anyways. I looked at the screen. <laughs> I looked at the screen, and then I tears formed in my eyes. I got so mad, and I was like, "I'm quitting." And I didn't play for two weeks. Yeah. I couldn't pick it up. It was, I was yeah. I threw my my uh, controller at the wall at one point. Uh, it was when you're like stuck in a car and you can't get the the vault door open. Yeah, I was like stuck on that for four days. That's just because I'm stupid as well. Did you so. hit the green button on the side? No, I didn't. That's the <laughs> danger with wireless controllers. You can really chuck those things a long way. It's not like Nintendo where it's <laughs> yeah, just you like, can't like eh. wrangle it right, back. Right. It's like nope. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, it, yeah. It, it makes sense for Lionsgate to pick up this property, too, because they are coming off the Hunger Games, which is such a successful boom for that for that studio that now they need something to replace that because obviously the last mm -hmm. Hunger Games film comes out in November. So this could be the thing that catapults them and continues the legacy of Lionsgate. You'd hope so. Yeah, it's really exciting. Now now that they've announced it, it'll be fun to see who they start casting the world with. So Mads Mickelson, baby. <laughs> 